Hello, my name is Graham Brown. This is Up School Book Reviews, and today I want to talk about the five books that made me want to become a lifestyle entrepreneur. So, Up School Book Reviews is all about books that help you become better at what you do, especially if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're a lifestyle entrepreneur. So, rather than define what a lifestyle entrepreneur is, if you go to my website, www.escapethecubicle.com, www.escapethecubicle.com, you can find out what a lifestyle entrepreneur is all about because there I'm writing as a work in progress document, a field guide for lifestyle entrepreneurs. So these five books I read over a period of 20 years, and they are some of the most influential books I've read on my own development as an entrepreneur, particularly my choice in becoming a lifestyle entrepreneur. So let's have a look at each one of these books. And I've reviewed each one of these books on upschoolbookreviews.com. So you can go and check out the full reviews there. So let's start at the top. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki is a book which was written a long time ago. It was written, well, in another century. But it was written over 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I think it's important to understand that when Rich Dad, Poor Dad was written, it was written in a time when people still thought that safe careers, good jobs, good salaries, good paychecks, good benefits, working for a blue chip company, all that kind of stuff made sense. That was a definition of success. And in many ways, that still is the dominant narrative today. But what Rich Dad Poor Dad did was open the discussion and make it available to people that there was an alternative. And that worked for me. The fundamental message in Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki is about financial IQ and that the average person has very low financial IQ and the system benefits from this. And what we need to do as entrepreneurs is to train ourselves to become financially literate. And it's not something that's taught in schools. It's not something that's taught by the system, the cubicle. So the reason why this propelled me to becoming a lifestyle entrepreneur is because the implicit message is that the system is rigged. And if you want to improve your life, you have to escape the cubicle. You have to step outside your comfort zone. You have to do something different because the default life script is not going to end you up in a position where you are financially independent or in a position where you have choice to do what you want in your life. The second book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I think this is one of the best self-help books on the market today, even though it is more or less 30 years old. The reason why it is so good is because it stands out in an era where Everything is delivered in bite-sized chunks. So we live in a BuzzFeed world where everybody wants to learn Japanese in 60 minutes a day or to get ripped for summer and just do 20 press-ups a day or get rich by not doing the homework or the hard work. As Stephen Covey says, you can't cheat the farm. If you want to grow a crop, you got to plant seeds. So there's a whole range of self-help books out there like The Secret, which promises silver bullets, you know, like diets. You know, people try them and they fail, but their memory is short. So they just bounce between one fad and the next fad, the next big thing. However, if you want to be successful, you have to do the work. And The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is all about doing the hard work. But that's why it's so effective. And the reason why I believe this made me want to become a lifestyle entrepreneur is because if you implement these seven habits in your life, you build 
a very solid foundation for you as an individual that you don't need to work in a corporate structure to go and fulfill your dreams. And you don't need to work in a traditional startup to go and fulfill your dreams because if you've implemented the seven habits of highly effective people properly, if you grow as an individual, then you have a powerful base. And that powerful base means you can go and create value and create change and put a dent in the universe, whatever you apply yourself to. And that means that you have everything it takes to become a successful lifestyle entrepreneur. The third book is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Now, this was written in, what, 2007, 2008. And this really put lifestyle entrepreneurs on the map. It opened the floodgate because it asked the question, what if? You know, what if you could build a lifestyle where lifestyle came first? What if you could have a business that facilitated that lifestyle and made it possible rather than a lifestyle that was shoehorned into your business, which is mostly the case for most entrepreneurs and certainly the case for most salaried workers. That whole what if question is about how you spend your time. And really, that's what the four hour work week is about, how to use your time effectively and building a business around that so you have more time, more choice. You know, Bob Dylan once wrote that a man is a success if he gets up in the morning and goes to bed at night and in between he does whatever he likes. And that's what the four hour work week is about. It's about turning our backs on traditional materialism, the materialism of our forebears, of our parents who were brought up in that world of middle class security and job security. And for them, financial independence was paying off the mortgage. But there's a whole generation of people now growing up who want experience, who want to do work that makes a difference, who don't want the comfortable salary, or they don't want the perks of a traditional MBA type job. MBA really standing for middle class, boring and average. They want the creativity to go out and make their own mistakes. And the four hour work week is really a, a book that put lifestyle entrepreneurs on the map. What was once a second rate choice now became the possibility of the better choice. What was once the domain of the, you know, the low income entrepreneur who wasn't really making it, wasn't really grafting. What happened with the four hour work week was Tim Ferriss asked what if and a whole generation of entrepreneurs replied and started exploring and developing the business models that had really been put out there by the lean startup movement and evolving them. And now we're in a situation where lifestyle entrepreneurs not only can do what they're passionate about, but can make very good money too. And in many cases, lifestyle entrepreneurs with their business setup can make more money than traditional entrepreneurs and salaried employees. And on top of that, they have control over their time to do what they choose. And I define, def define happiness as something very simple. What is the secret to happiness? Well, it's simply doing more of what makes you happy. If hanging out with your family makes you happy, then design a lifestyle and a business that enables you to do more of that, because that is success. If training for an Ironman triathlon makes you happy, then design a business and a lifestyle that enables you to do more of that. The fourth book is The Seven Day Startup by Dan Norris. Now, The Seven Day Startup is really a step-by-step -step implementation of the kind of ideas that we've already put out there with the four-hour work week and ideas and philosophies from the lean startup. And as it says in the title, you can launch a business in seven days. You know, if you're spending weeks, months, years building a business to launch it, you're doing something wrong. You're not only doing something wrong, 
you're increasing the risk of that business. And businesses will fail by design at some point. So the longer you take, the, the larger the risk you're taking. So the key here is to build a very lean business. And rather than test, and rather than go out and do your surveys and test your hypotheses, the key here is to launch, just launch. And your goal as an entrepreneur should be to get your product into the hands of a paying customer. And a paying customer is key here because no matter how many people say they're interested in your product or your service, Nobody really knows what they want until they have to open their wallet and pay for it. That's why to get customers, even $1 paying customers, is better than you know millions of people who say they like your product. Could be a Facebook fan page, that kind of thing. But to get somebody to pay $1 is key. You're not going to charge them $1 in the future. You may charge them hundreds or thousands. But the point is the difference between zero and one dollar is bigger than the difference between one dollar and a thousand dollars. And everything you assume about your business is going to be wrong anyway. So forget about your assumptions. Don't bother writing a business plan. Just launch. The last book is The $100 Startup by Chris Gillibo. If the 4-Hour Workweek was the book that put lifestyle entrepreneurs on the map and the 7-Day Startup was a step-by-step guide to how you can actually do that in 7 days, then the $100 Startup by Chris Guillebeau is really about what's possible. The $100 Startup lays out all the available options for lifestyle entrepreneurs and it really just covers the, the ground of lifestyle entrepreneurs with case studies. So the $100 startup is really case studies about what Chris Guillebeau calls the accidental entrepreneurs, or I think it's the unexpected entrepreneurs in his vernacular. So these are people who became entrepreneurs, not because they wanted to become entrepreneurs, because for them, it was the only way to continue doing what they loved. So these were the lifestyle entrepreneurs who put lifestyle at the top of their needs pyramid. And the business really was a vehicle to achieve that. It wasn't the other way around, which is so often the case. So the key here in the $100 startup, as Chris Guillebeau points out, is these are people that are doing what they love and getting paid very well for it. And the more you read these case studies, the more you realize it's possible. Now, the thing is, is that we've grown up with this idea about lifestyle entrepreneurs being somehow the second option or some kind of wimpy option for entrepreneurs. But when you read the seven day startup and you read the $100 startup, you realize what's possible. You realize this is no longer the case. And actually, a lot of these lifestyle entrepreneurs have it very good. They have very good options in front of them and they are living the kind of lifestyles that we all dream about. So if you need the illustrations, if you want to see what being a lifestyle entrepreneur is all about, then the $100 Startup by Chris Guillebeau really lays that out for you. So those are the five books that made me want to become a lifestyle entrepreneur. And I think anybody that was to read them would find inspiration and techniques, tips, hacks to help them become a lifestyle entrepreneur. And if they're a lifestyle entrepreneur already, then that's great. Here's a whole wealth of information to help you get up that learning curve and become a better lifestyle entrepreneur. So my name's Graham Brown. This is Upschool Book Reviews. If you enjoyed these reviews. If you want to go and check out those books, go and check out my website, upschoolbookreviews.com. And I also recommend five more books, which you can go and check out for free. If you go and check out my course, upschoolbookreviews.com slash course, 
you can get access to five video book reviews that I have done on five books, which I believe will help you become a better lifestyle entrepreneur. Books that not necessarily the ones that I've shared with you today, but you can go and check out that course for free. You can complete the course in one hour. And by doing that, you'll save yourself having to buy or read those books. I do the heavy lifting for you. And if you've read them, even better, you can get a second opinion or a different angle or a refresher and get more content and more insight out of those books. So that is upschoolbookreviews.com slash course. My name's Graham Brown. I'll see you next week for one more book review.